Yeah, the race for House Speaker has been anything but smooth sailing, but when Congressman Byron Donalds' name started to be thrown around as our potential speaker, the left did what the left does, show their disgusting and racist colors. Here is dishonorable Congresswoman Cori Bush tweeting out her fingers, but really out of her ass, about her colleague and fellow black American leader, Byron Donalds. Miss BLM is showing her true colors once again, showing us the only black lives or people she cares about are the ones that lie in her pockets or keep her in power. How dare she think she is the warden and decider of what is black enough or historic? Who died and made her the anointed one of anything? It's disgusting, it really is. But a true class act, Congressman Byron Donalds, a friend of this show, responded by not only dunking on her, but doing it with the utmost grace. Crab in a barrel is a very, very kind way of referring to what Miss Cori Bush really is. I'll leave it at that. Liberals, black and white, have some real nerve and audacity to keep up this BS. They do it with every black conservative that dares to part ways with the ownership the Democrat Party thinks it holds over them. They've done it to Senator Tim Scott, calling him an Uncle Tom as if being a black Republican senator were a crime and as, and as if saying America is not a racist country was somehow the most offensive thing these race baiters have ever heard. And they pulled the same crap with Larry Elder when he ran to replace Greasy Gavin Newsom in California, calling him the face of white supremacy and even excusing some psycho green hair who not only dressed up in a gorilla suit to taunt him, but threw eggs at him as well. These liberals are some kind of deranged, but it's worse than that. It's worse than insanity. They are racist, true racists. They demean, degrade, and belittle any and all people of color who dare to think for themselves. Not only do their horrible economic policies hurt minority communities, not only does their open border burden inner city schools, not only are their lawless policies responsible for death, violence, and carnage in black and brown communities, they have the audacity to truly believe they own the black vote. Sick. Sick and wrong.